All right, guys, Jason here for Shark Guys, taking a look at some TCG trigger requests. One request is to look at CRISPR on the weekly time frame. To get started, we're going to take a look at the monthly. And on the monthly, we can see that we are in a nice little uptrend. Here's a high, a higher high, and a higher high, and consecutive higher lows. Now we're going to be looking for a higher low over 3230 at some point on the monthly time frame when this little run starts to slow down. A couple of things we can look at. We can look at RSI to act as resistance, in which case we're getting very close to it now. Previously, we had a high at 66, uh, it's called 66.32. We're right at that point now, and on the monthly time frame, uh, only a few days left here, and we're seeing quite a bit of uh, upside um, pressure. So the bears are pushing back a little bit. Is this enough to break the cycle of uptrend? Probably not. Let's take a look at the weekly time frame. Likely we're just seeing weekly higher lows. But on the monthly, anything over 3030 is going to be a higher low, and that's what we want to see. So let's go to the weekly time frame. There is that little bit of pressure that we're seeing here. So weekly time frame is also strong. We've got consecutive higher lows on the weekly. Let's go there. We'll lock that one in at 4684. We've got another one here at 58.02 and now we're looking for another higher low my first target would be ema 12 that has been a nice little area of support uh quasi support over here we did close below it but we saw it act as a perfect support here 58.02 so if we're going to look for a target and this at this point we're we're speculating quite a bit we're, we're a couple of weeks away from where we would hit our ema 12 is going to adapt and it's going to change but oh, let's say we project it to uh shoot out at its current rate and we look for i don't know Something like that, which would have us looking for a bounce in the area of, or I should say reverse in the area of 8033. So call it 80 psychological total speculation. We've got no idea at this point. We're just looking for a weekly higher low. Bulls are going to be in control. Bears are going to be in control of the daily time frame, And we're going to be looking for a hourly and four hour turn somewhere in here to signal a change on the daily time frames. Well, well now it's in a little bit of a downtrend. Our high, our lower high, our low. And uh, we're getting close to what could be a lower low. So we need to look at support levels. Support right now, a must hold level for the bears and the bulls is 83.57. This is going to be an important level. If the bears can break this, we've got a confirmed daily downtrend. And we're going to look for more of an extended weekly downtrend looking for that weekly higher low in that 80 range. If we manage to hold on the daily and stay above 83.57, that's going to stifle that weekly bearish attack. It's going to turn it into something of a bear flag or consolidation pattern. But ultimately, it sets up the possibility for a weekly or a daily equilibrium. So that would be exciting if the bulls can pull that off by defending 80.57. And we'll be looking for a tightening range to follow. So to summarize, two possible scenarios. One, we see continued weakness on the daily. We lose 83.57 and we look for a higher low somewhere in the range of let's call it 80 psychological. We're looking for a weekly higher low. That's going to come in a form of a break into a reversal or we're going to see a daily equilibrium established if bulls can stay above 80.57. Either way, we have a good fishing opportunity here at 83.57. Uh, right now, bears are in control of the daily time frame. And we have, a, a, like I said, a possible bottom fish opportunity. You can look for an entry against that level, a little bit of a bounce. Uh, but right now, four-hour bears are in control as well, so we need to keep that in mind. Any bounce off of that likely will have a rejection from EMA 12. So keep a close eye on your trade. And as far as the weekly goes, pretty strong. Looking for that weekly higher low. Let's see what happens with 83.57 tomorrow or the next day. CGC. This one's interesting on the daily time frame. Big volume day yesterday. Profit taking today giving us a nice inside bar to watch for. We have earnings coming up here. Looks like August 10th, so about a week away or so. In the short term, we get ourselves a nice daily uptrend, our last daily higher low, established way down here at 1620. We've got an inside bar with resistance at 1932, 1839. If we go to the four hour time frame, we are looking for four hour higher lows. We haven't done that in a little while. So let's go and adapt to our new after hours levels here. Very close. Four cents away so a little bit of a base of support if we can stay here and we see it act as a support early tomorrow i'm going to be looking for a move to the upside uh, if we can break 1932 that would be fantastic for the bulls but we're going to be expecting a lower high on the four hour underneath 2042 that's the most likely outcome it is possible that we break 1932 set a four hour higher low and then break 2040 but right now given the distance and spread between our breakout and our pullback the likelihood it's not a break above 2040 right away. It is a lower high into a possible equilibrium pattern. So keeping a close eye on that. Hourly, 
We can see that the bulls are holding on defending that four cent spread of support. What they need to do in the short term is get a new high over 1897 and then try to retake that hourly trend, get the daily equilibrium going a little bit. BA on the daily time frame, bad earnings report. I don't think we expected crazy good earnings, but we did knock out a key support level, 166.01. Bulls managed to push back a little bit and hold that level. So our absolute low of this candlestick, 166.01. Today's closing price, 166. Psychological. One cent spread, one cent <laughs> spread, uh, absolutely still a critical level. It's going to come down to do we open below or open above? If we open above, I think we're going to back test and try to bounce and see if we can get anywhere. It's really going to come down to how much conviction the bulls have to defend that level. And the inverse is exactly uh, is true as well. If we open below, we're going to look to see how much pressure the bears can maintain at that level and look for a rejection. If we break through either, those, either of those levels with conviction, that is going to be a good sign for that direction. So we open below, we break 160 without a problem. Uh, bulls are going to look good. On the other side, if bears attack and they break through and there's no support at 160 happening to open above it, that's uh, not going to be good for the bulls. And we're going to see a uh, possible low support test at 162.25 Below that, we only have support way over here at 15181. So quite a spread. Going to the four hour time frame, we can see that we have a strong four hour downtrend. We have a hourly downtrend. And I think, yeah, we're still looking relatively okay on the RSI for the four hour time frame as well. So at this point, just expecting more downside continuation. Even if we'll step it up tomorrow with a nice break above 166 psychological anything under 174.50 is going to be four hour higher lower high and we're going to expect downside continuation to follow so let's see what happens tomorrow and we will do a follow-up video then thanks for watching and if you have any questions about any of this or really anything at all give me a message info at the or just post a comment put a question in the comments that's what we're supposed to do all right